Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStreet.com and today in this video we are going to give you a solution of a problem which has been faced by many Geoni eLife E6 users. We have the Geoni eLife E6 with us. This device is really good in terms of the overall performance, in terms of the overall application usage, day-to-day -day usage, entertainment as well, everything is good. But one thing which is uh, not so good about the device is the gaming experience. That means whenever you play some graphic intensive games like Modern Combat 4, Frontline Commando D-Day or even Asphalt 7 etc. These games lag a lot when you play these games on this device. This device has the same configuration which we have on the Geoni eLife E5. That is it has the MediaTek 6589 chipset, 1.5 GHz quad core processor and you have the PowerVR SGX 544MP at the GPU which is again running at the same frequency on both of these devices uh, either it is E5 or E6 but E5 performs much better as far as gaming is concerned as compared to E6 so we have the E6 with us and the reason why this device does not perform pretty good on the gaming front is that it has a high definition resolution whereas we have a 720p resolution on the Geoni eLife E5. This, the GPU which is there on both of these devices perform better on the 720p display as compared to the rendering which we see on a 1080p display. In, on this device whenever we try playing some games or even when you go across home screen you will notice some kind of uh, lag in the UI. Right now you won't notice this lag because we have actually converted the resolution of the Geoni eLife E6 to a 720p display as of now so we have forced the uh, uh, resolution to go lower to 720p and this device has become much more responsive either it is the home screen uh, transitions or it is any application performance or now that UI glitch is almost gone so this this is almost an instant uh, UI response which we are getting on the Geoni eLife E6 as of now now again to do this uh, to actually convert this device into a 720p display to actually force the device to run on a lower resolution the thing you, which you have to do is that you have to root your Geoni eLife E6 again rooting process is quite safe and easy and it does not delete any data on your device that is something which we can tell you and the routing process is there and then once you root the device then you have to install some applications like Resolution Changer Pro uh, which is an application uh, which you will have to pay for some amount it is a paid application not much in terms of the amount it is around 135 rupees on the Google Play Store on India so you can pay for this application around two dollar approximately so you can pay for this application and then you can force the resolution to go down and you can actually run this phone on the 720p display however there are some issues as well which you will notice uh, on this device when you run this on a 720p display the major issue is that the touch the buttons on the device will they will uh, stop working so you you won't be able to use uh, the touch capacity button for example if you are under application any specific application you won't be able to minimize this application because the touch capacity buttons are not working but still there is a fix for that as well because we have some applications like home button which will so for example if you have opened some specific application for example this one and if you have opened this application you won't be able to minimize it with the help of the touch capacity buttons on the device so in that case what you can do is either you can install the home button application which will uh, add a home button directly on the notification screen and whenever you tap on it you will be able to go back to the home screen again this is a temporary solution but the major simple solution is the button savior uh, which is another application which actually does a lot more rather than uh, going to the home button so it, it actually places this widget over here which allows you to go back to the next screen you can also kill applications so the first part of this video will tell you how you can root the device so in order to root the device you will have to install this application called frame root apk and this application will allow you to give super user access to your device and make sure whenever you install this application first of all you have to install this application called frema root it is not frame root and it is frema root and for uh, installing this application and other data which you will require for routing you will have to actually uh, download the files which are there uh, on the links which are there in the description of this video so you can go to the description of this video right now and 
download the files required for routing on this device and once you have downloaded you will find a file which is called frema root and uh, you will have to install that application and for that what you need to do is you need to transfer these files to the root directory of your Geoni Elite E6 by connecting it to a PC so you have to first of all connect this device to the PC and once you have connected the device to the PC you will be able to see the contents using the file explorer on this device so you go to the file explorer over here and under file explorer you will see uh, the files which are there on the device so we have this folder called Geoni E6 in which we have transferred the Frema root APK and you can install this application directly from here using the file manager which comes preloaded on this device. So this is how you need to first of all install this. Once you have installed this application then you need to go to this application and select install super SU not the super user. Once you install this and then you have to once you selected this then you have to tap over here and then it will give the super user access to your device and also it will install some application which is the super user and once you are done with this then you have to reboot the device to make sure that device is rooted and once the device is rooted then you have this application called mobile uncle toolbox which is another link to an application which you will need to download from the play store once you have rebooted the device so you have to go to the play store and install this application called mobile uncle toolbox which you can get from the google play store and it is a free application and once you download this it will run and it will give you the option of do the doing the recovery update when you do the recovery update you will have to select the recovery.img file which you have also transferred uh, to the root directory so basically from the description of this video you can download two files and one of both of these files should be in the root directory of your Geoni eLife E6 and one of that file is the recovery.img and the other one is the frema root apk so once you see the recovery.img file over here you have to tap over here and then you have to install it on your device and before you do that make sure you follow the process properly in case you have any problem in following this process you can always refer to the detailed step by step guide given in the description of this video and I would like to thank uh, Devansh Agarwal and Shivam from the Geoni e India Developers Group who have actually helped me to root this device now once you have installed the recovery.img as well as you have given the super user access to your device your device is now completely rooted and once the device is rooted you can go to the google play store and install this application called Res resolution changer pro it is called resolution changer pro and once you install this application you will have to first of all pay for it and once you install this application you can actually force the device to run on a low resolution as compared to the 1080p resolution which is the default native resolution for this device and for that first of all set the width to 720 under the height section you will have to set the value to 1280 and once you have done both of these you have to set uh, check this option enable activate the set resolution which is specified and once you specify this then you have to reboot the device and when the device is rebooted you will see that the device is running on this resolution as which we are showing you right now so the icons will become bigger and also the text on the lower icons will not be visible because it is hidden by these icons over here so there will be some problem as far as the display is concerned but still you will be able to use it if you recognize the icon as far as the application is concerned as far as other settings are concerned there is no problem with the device you can actually access everything on the device everything will become little bit bigger because this device is now running at low resolution and now the main problem arise is that you won't be able to minimize any application or anything on the device using these touch capacitor buttons. So in order to solve this problem you will have to install this button savior program which is another application which you will download from the google play store and once you download it it will place a kind of a arrow over here and whenever whatever you do on the phone this will be there and whenever you tap on it you will be given all these options this is the back button this is the multitasking button so you can actually kill the applications like this which are running on the device as you can see with this application itself 
and again the button savior application comes for free on the play store and in case you want to go back to the home screen you can always tap on the home button and whenever you want to hide it you can always tap on the cross over here and it will hide it you can also move this to any part of the screen in case you are not comfortable with this end and this application is called button savior and this is a free application which you can install so this video ends here and this video was about the routing and the uh, process of using the phone uh, even when the touch capacity button from the phone will not work after you degraded the resolution to 720p so in the next video we are going to give you a gaming review of this device in which all the games on the device uh, including asphalt 7 frontline commando d-day and other games they are running pretty fine without any graphic lag on this device after degrading the resolution of the device to 720p so stay tuned for that you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you